up guys, Ash here, and today Pet Spotlight uh, is going to be on the Volcano Crabbit Sauron. You might know the all-seeing eye from movies like Lord of the Rings, Facebook, and those poor people in those Vibing commercials. But today Sauron comes to us in the form of a lovable crab right here. Uh, if you guys will notice, I'm currently in 44 Violent, and the eggs for the Draki are hatching, and there are many, for sure. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just let this play, and then we'll go back and take a review of what's going on here. Notice how this is all one turn. Believe it or not, this is actually spawned off one responsive. Okay, so uh, if you're like, what the hell is happening, uh, you wouldn't be the only one in that situation. So uh, to start with, Sauron is currently in his volcano form, which is his ultimate. Um, and we'll go into how he achieved this uh, to start with. Uh, but to start, for, for beginning, beginning um, right here... You're going to see him hit five, six targets all at once, maybe even nine. Uh, it's actually the s same as Ray's basic grenade attack. Um, so that's why you see that. And Volcano is being triggered off of a unit moving, just responsive fire, same as like Hazing or uh, Giselle seeing something moving. However, after that, this is where things get interesting. Notice how uh, the Draki detonated. Uh, and then that detonation, of course, caused like a fire veil where all units that are alive nearby it uh, get knocked back, they get burned, and then if they hit a rock or something like that, they get stunned. So what's happening here is that when those units are getting knocked back by the fire veil, they're moving again, which is triggering another response attack from Sauron. And it just goes and goes. And this is very interesting because you don't need, like, this isn't one shot, one kill. This isn't me making commands. This all happened in one sequence. They get knocked, they get hit again. They get knocked, they get hit again. It's pretty insane. And, uh, <laughs> I think the footage speaks for itself. So in order to achieve this, let's take a look at his ability list, because that's very important. Um, so the primary ability here, obviously, is Active Volcano, and it actually has very limited information. Uh, basically, if Sauron can see it, then he's going to attack it. Uh, it's very similar to Hazing's Field of Zero, uh, with some definitely uh, minor changes here. So you notice it doesn't really give you much other than if it can see it, it'll kill it. The difference is field of zero uh, is very specific. You set the field uh, versus Sauron, and Sauron is basically anything he can see within his sight vision. And that's a very key component to remember. Um, but we should go through his one other ability. Well, there's a few abilities that, that are important. His basic attack, you for the most part, will never use. Um, burrowing, not so much. Uh, when he first comes out, you are going to want to do Tong's Trim, and this is really great for a couple of reasons. One, uh, it gives delicately polished Tongs, which is 10 hit, 25 crit, uh, 10 attack damage, last three turns, awesome. Um, it also gives 30 Rage. With that 30 Rage, you can subtract 10 and put on Fierce Flame, which is going to add uh, fire attack damage, some fire resist, but more importantly, um, that first one in the aura, 
Using fire attack ability causes a small flame explosion as an enemy is put out of action. So enemy dies, explosion goes off, an enemy moves, and then he responses again with a volcano. Um, so this is also great and only takes one action point. Tong's trim takes no action points, by the way. And then finally, I'd like to show the Tong's flame ammunition. This is what I believe active volcano is actually using. Uh, and that's important to understand because active volcano does not give you a whole lot of information. It doesn't tell you ratios. It doesn't tell you, you know, what it's combining off of. Uh, it just says it's going to use all action points and then it's going to, anything in your line of sight, you'll go for. Um, so on the ratios here, 75% ESP, 25% uh, fire SP, and that's what we're assuming it's going off of. Um, activates burn, clears web, which is pretty cool, especially for 47 violent. Uh, but this is your ratios and what you should be building uh, your character off of, so that that's important to note. Alright guys, let's get into his board a little bit. Um, very important to note for his basic mastery, I have him set as inrush training, so he gets his turn immediately when he's summoned. Uh, basically allows you to go straight into turret form, uh, which is pretty cool, along with add-in tongs and all that that I showed a little bit earlier. Um, and then for the other two phases, uh, he actually came with Hidden Wildness for me. You know, your results will vary. Um, but this gives you bonus block dodge hit and crit uh, if you're using Beast and Class Masteries, which I just went with. And I, I kind of recommend that if you're if you're building a board uh, for a new pet, you know, see what they have. And not, not all pets come with, you know, really bad abilities, to be honest. Um, I also threw in physical training. This isn't mandatory. Uh, this is just what I wanted to use to complete uh, the set that I was going for. So for his core offensive masteries, we're going to take Beast King and Apex Predator. Um, these give you uh, both 15% uh, dodge, so 30% dodge. Um, both, both give 15% crit, so 30% crit. Both give 20% hit, so 40% hit. Uh, and then he's got a, a life drain. Doesn't really need, um, but is pretty cool. And then uh, these these stack very well um, because it's not just these. You'll be stacking it with tongs, you know, hit and crit. Uh, you'll be stacking this with Giselle. Uh, it's important to remember that Giselle is also giving bonuses to Sauron. So um, in particular, for, for starters, you have to have monster taming. So I would recommend on Giselle, you need to have monster hunter and monster trainer. Taming is going to allow you to summon him. Without this, you can't even bring him out. Um, but the beast training alone, you see the trained beast, uh, it's going to give him extra health, attack power, ESP, armor resistance, which is pretty cool. And then Monster Hunter is also going to give him Brave Beast, which is also going to add to his hit, crit, crit hit damage, block, dodge, etc., etc. Pretty insane stuff. Um, when you all add it up, it, it gets pretty ridiculous pretty fast. Um, and then for... For defense masteries, uh, perfect carapace and shooting the wrong mark. Perfect carapace is really going to allow you to have the health pool. Um, you see how much it's adding there. It's like 2,500, give or take, to his, his base health pool, putting him at mine at at least 4,200. Uh, and that's important because in order to use Apex Predator, uh, you have to have the higher hip pool. So as you go through all these, you know, you get this if you have a higher health than you know what the monster is and that's going to cancel out pretty much every monster you run into with exception of destrons and uh what's it called and if you wanted to you could also do giant species and really you know get it out of hand but at about four thousand uh you know that, that that cancels everything out and that's pretty pretty damn good um we're also going to take shooting the wrong mark uh this adds to his dodge so one of the weaknesses to active volcano is if he takes any kind of damage he's going to cancel active volcano uh, this allows him to do amazing dodges that you would not expect him to do because of um, multi-joints crab leg, as well as tactical fan out. Uh, the rest is really up to you guys. Um, oh, I'm sorry. One of the core uh, support is Awaken. This is mandatory as well. But the rest is really up to you guys. Um, I did, you know, Breakthrough and Piercing Strike for Block Shred. You do need a version of either Catharsis or Pyromaniac for resetting the cooldown. This is great when you want to redeploy Sauron. Um, his AT is going to go through the roof. And I mean like just freaking crazy. 
Um, but, you know, with the exception of that, yeah, a lot of this stuff is free and open to use. I wanted to show you guys this, uh, just because it's funny to me. So, if you're playing Sauron right, um, you should get a message like this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So I did want to go through this as well. Uh, in order for you guys to obtain Volcano Crabman, for our newer players at least, you do have to have access to D2 Violent. So this is very much uh, kind of an end game character. So I would like to stress just how crazy this dude is. Um, you can see all the responses going off of, you know, this isn't just used for like uh, you know, beast maps like 52 Violent. You can definitely take this guy pretty much anywhere. Um, I have some, so notice this, this is against White Destron. Uh, they just drop his health to half together. He counters, and basically with um, shooting the wrong mark, uh, he dodges while also being in bush. He's probably got like 100% dodge right now, which is totally crazy. And in the off chance you find something that's actually strong enough to deal damage to him, watch what happens here. So Black Destron, he gets an auto dodge response, of course, because uh, it's a ranged attack. Comes in for the melee hit on him. Blocks it anyway. Reattack. Blocks again. So, <laughs> even some of the strongest characters in the game. This dude is so crazy. Alright guys, that concludes this video. Uh, special thanks to Nails and my guy, two of my streamers. Uh, they kind of put together the concept design and uh, kind of pushed me to do this. My Giselle is more sniper than hunter, so I do very little taming uh, as much as possible. The only reason why I would tame is to get more masteries like a lot of people are doing. Uh, but there are certainly a few pets that stand out. There's actually another uh, pet spotlight in the works, so look forward to that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe on the YouTube channel. Um, I also, you know, you're welcome to follow me on Twitch. Details down below. And uh, until next time.